Hey, everybody, how you doing? Uh, this is the Donnie Williams Show. Uh, this is the show where I, Todd Anderson, tell a story or an anecdote or give some behind-the-scenes info uh, that I've experienced uh, uh, as an actor over the years. Um, and, and, and Donnie Williams told me to do it. That's why it's called the Donnie Williams Show. You can ask him about that. Uh, so there's this thing. Uh, when you're an actor uh, and people are interested in you, but they're not quite ready to book you and pay you yet, but they're interested. So then they have their shoot dates. The project is happening at a certain time. So they call and they say, hey, are you available this date to this date? And you say yes. And they go, oh, we'd like to place you on a hold or on an avail. Uh, and they don't pay you, you know, to be placed on a hold and avail. The idea is it's, it's a uh, professional courtesy. And uh, if you uh, are to get a, another offer, you have to call the person who put you on hold first and give them the opportunity to, you know, shit or get off the pot, as they say. Um, it's a professional courtesy that's extended in one direction, and I'm not sure what the professional courtesy extended towards me and, and the acting side of things is it's it's sort of a one direct anyway uh the 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 point is is when you when you get an avail uh and, and you're honest about it with other entities sometimes they won't even see you for a project well if he's we need to know he's completely available on those days and 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 that's where this uh professional courtesy gets dicey and hurts me uh professionally because i'm you know losing potential work uh, but, you know uh, that's just how it is when you're a guest star type a, a day player type uh, the kind of actor like me who's uh, you know spends most of the time pounding the pavement trying to get the job um and one day like two different entities can want you or three and and you want all the jobs because you want all the money and you and you need it and you need the work but you can't obviously be uh, two or three places at once. It doesn't work that way. Um, so it's a bummer when, when stuff converges like that. And it's a bummer when stuff can't converge like that because you're honest about your holds and avails so people don't want to even see you for the thing. Um, there was this one time uh, where uh, I got uh, a, a jury summons uh, um, and uh, a jury duty is one of those things that can be very difficult uh, with uh, trying to schedule uh, you know an acting job because my acting jobs come up last minute so if I'm sitting on a jury I'm screwed anyway I uh I have sat on a couple of juries, and, and, and here's a story about one jury that I sat on. Um, and uh, I had just auditioned for an episode of a show called CSI. Um, and uh, the day uh, that I was called into jury duty, uh, I got put on a hold for CSI, which uh, could have conflicted with the uh, trial if, if it was going for more than a couple days. Um, and so, uh, I just kind of hoped that I wouldn't, you know, while I was sitting there in the room waiting for my name to be called, that I wouldn't get called. Cause sometimes you just go through the whole day and you don't get called on a jury and then you're done. You're good. Uh, but in this case, you know, uh, my name got called and then I sat and they did the whole thing where they interview all the jurors and, and the, and the attorneys decide if if they're cool and, uh, you know, whenever I'm in that situation, I get put on a jury. Because, anyway, I got selected for this jury. That same day that I got selected for the jury, the CSI called and the CSI wanted me for the show. And it was going to conflict with the second day of the trial. So, I did not sleep all the night before uh, the jury duty. And uh, I, ha I was planning on literally throwing myself at the mercy of the court and asking to be let out so I could go do a CSI episode. Uh, and I was terrified uh, of, of <laughs> uh, asking a judge for that. Um, but, uh, but I was going to do it. And if the judge said no, well, there's not much I can do. I'm fucked. Uh, but I went in and uh, the, the courtroom opened. We all went in. We took our, our, our jury seats. And uh, then a few moments later, the judge announced that we could go home 
because uh, the trial, uh, the case was settled and uh, there was no need for a trial. So Dodge the Bullet got the CSI kind of all worked out crazy. Um, and there was so much anxiety and so much terror over those days uh, about <laughs> just getting to do one day on CSI uh, instead of jury duty. It, 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 was, it was insane. Uh, you'd think that uh, it was going to change my life, and uh, it wasn't. I, I got a few grand. I mean, it was cool to meet George Eads, I guess. This has been a Blursh production. Blursh.